And the winner is Real Life 7 Network. Gee, this is a bit of a surprise. <laughs> First one and I break it. I, did, I didn't mean to upset you that much, mate. First of all, can I just say... Uh, <laughs> class act. First of all, can I just say uh, it's an honour to be nominated alongside people like Mike Willisy and Darren Hinch, who I grew up on television watching and hoping one day to, uh, to emulate. Uh, I'd like to thank everyone who works on Real Life. It takes a lot of hard work and dedication to put a program like ours out every night. I can't thank all of you individually, but you are a terrific team. Thank you to my family and the families of everyone on the program for your support and understanding. To Bob Campbell and Channel 7 Management, thanks very much for all of your faith in us through the lean times. And finally, to a man whose energy, drive and vision, I think, inspires all of us in current affairs, Gerald Stone. Thank you all. What's this? Was that for a film? No, it's to cover up the herpes, actually. <laughs> A current affair this week. How to be a winner in the petrol price war. Get to know the cycle and exploit this instability. Just chart the battle and save, save, save. Why not play the game and win? Also, patients' rights. I think it's a landmark victory for the uh, patient. Now you have the right... No one, to my knowledge, has done this before. ...to challenge what your doctor is charging you. I don't think the medical profession is accountable enough for the fees they charge. Plus the secret to a secure future. You can retire rich. A current affair this week.